the only difference between experience and non-experience is time. The time factor is always radial, outwardly, inwardly, and quarterly around. Always accounted only in most economical to self-experience energy-time relationship units. The vector is time-energy incrementation, embracing both velocity and relative mass, as well as the observer's angulation of observation, strictly determined in relation to the observer's head-to-toe axis and time, relative, for instance, to heartbeat and diurnal cyclic experience frequencies. If you just tighten one point in a tensegrity system, all the other parts of it tighten evenly. If you twang any tension member anywhere in the structure, it will give the same resonant note as the others. If you tighten any one part, the tuning goes to a higher note everywhere in the structure. Until its tension is altered, each tensegrity structure, as with every chemical element, has its own unique frequency. In a two-sling tensegrity sphere, every part is non-redundant. If tension goes up and the frequency goes up, it goes up uniformly all over. As tensegrity systems are tautened, they approach but never attain rigidity, being non-redundant structures. Anything that we would call rigid, such as one of the atoms of a very high integrity pattern, is explained by this type of tensegrity patterning. Balanced behaviors of tensegrity systems manifest discreetly and elucidate the energy interference event patternings that integrate to form and cohere all atoms. The tensegrity system is always the equilibrious balance phase, i.e., the omnipotential energy phase visually articulate of the push pull in, out, and around, pulsating and orbiting, processionally shunted reangulations, synergetically integrated. The progressive enlargement of a triangle, a pentagon, an octagon, or any other equa-edged closed-line figure drawn on any system surface produces similar results to that of the enlarging square, with 180 degrees to each corner at the equator. The closed line surface figure will always and only divide the whole area into two complementary areas. Each human making this discovery experimentally says spontaneously, but I didn't mean to make the big triangle, or the big square, or indeed the big mess of pollution. This lack of intention in no way alters these truths of universe. We are all equally responsible. We are responsible not only for the big, complementary surface area we develop on systems by our every act, but also for the finite, complementary, outward tetrahedron automatically complementing and enclosing each system we devise. We are inherently responsible for the complementary transformation of universe inwardly, outwardly, and all around every system we alter.